guys welcome or welcome back to my channel uh so i know i've been gone like i think maybe for a month and a half like i haven't actually like posted a video talking um i did post one two weeks ago um doing like a workout uh but today's video is going to be uh the time that i got well how would you say this um, I went to Virginia City, and I took this little tour at the Washoe Club, is it, I think that's what it's called. And so they take you and they tell you, like, um, you know, there's people that have, I think people have died there, and then, like, they say it's haunted, like, they say, like, Virginia City in general is really haunted. So I was, like, pretty scared. <laughs> um, you know, like, I was like, oh my gosh, like... What am I gonna see? I like I'm like not too brave, you know, when it comes to like ghosts or weird things like that. Like I just I get scared. But um so anyway. So we had already like walked all around um sorry. We had, we had already walked all around Virginia City and so then we were like about to leave. But we decided we wanted to take like a tour into, I think it's like a hotel. Um, and so they're like, okay, you guys, like, if you guys want to uh, get your tickets because it's going to start. And so we're like, okay, like, yeah, like, let's do it. And so they told us, like, you guys can record and see if you capture any voice or if you, like, actually capture something because they showed us that there was people that have, like, taken pictures. And, like, something is, like, behind them, like, a face or, like, a shadow. So, I don't really like to mess with that kind of stuff. But I was just, like, okay, like, maybe, maybe I just see something, you know? And so, I was, like, recording the whole time. Like, they're, like, taking us. And the guy's, like, talking, like, okay, well, you know, this room was this and that. So, I didn't really, like, I didn't hear anything the whole time, like, that I was, like, witnessing the tour. But, um, so whatever. I kept, like, recording and yeah like we you know we ended like the tour ends and so i'm like oh my gosh like, i want to hear if i caught anything did i see anything like like did i capture anything on my camera and so um i'm like looking through the whole video i didn't see anything like i didn't catch a scary face or like a ghost or anything like that and i was like well so i think you know i'm good like i didn't I didn't see anything, like, I kind of was maybe, like, wanting to see if I did kind of, like, had, blah, 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 if I did capture something or if I didn't. So, whatever. Um, but I'm hearing it. Like, I just, like, want to hear if I could hear anything. And I hear, and this was, like, it wasn't anyone, like, it wasn't the guy giving the tour. It wasn't any of, like, the other people taking the tour with us. Um, it was, like, really overpowering, but when we were taking the tour like in person i didn't hear them so it was only in the video that you could hear in a very deep voice that someone said it was like a man voice and they said get off my stone so just like get off my stone <laughs> you know but like deep and so i was like dude what the like what and so like i was like you know i like clicked back and i'm like hearing it again and I hear it over and I was like dude no way like I didn't hear this in in person so I show my sister and she's listening to it and she's like dude that's crazy like that's pretty fucking scary and so I kept like listening to see if I would hear like I watched the video nothing was like captured on video but like the audio that I picked up you know I was listening is that the only thing I hear and so <clears throat> um, I go back to school because I think we had gone on like a Sunday. So I go back to school that morning. I'm like telling my friend like, oh you guys are not going to believe what I like captured. And like I'm showing them like, well not showing, like well like letting them hear that voice. And they were like, dude that's scary. Like, you know like we, because uh, like they didn't believe me. Like when I texted them like, dude you guys are not going to believe what I just heard. And so from the time that I recorded that and I like heard that voice 
and I am not kidding, like, people think, like, dude, you're just joking, like, that's not real, but, like, I am, like, not making this up at all, so, I think I kept the video for, like, a good week, because what happened to me was pretty scary, so, from the first time that I heard that, I, like, at first I didn't think anything, you know, I was just like, okay, that was pretty spooky, but kind of cool, like, wow, I caught something. And so then, after, like, hearing it, you know, like, on Monday, showing it to my friend, and just replaying it and replaying it, because I kept showing people, um, that whole week that I had that video saved, and from hearing it, I, I don't know what happened, but I didn't feel good. Like, Monday I got home from school, and I remember, I didn't feel good, like, I had... It was like a pounding kind of like headache and then I just really felt like throwing up and I didn't feel like hungry like I just felt very tired and so you know my mom was like oh like you know maybe you're getting sick or something but I just you know I was like maybe I am okay you know maybe it's just like the flu or something and the next day I like wake up feeling terrible so it's just like every single day I kept feeling like my head was pounding. I would take pills like the Tylenol or Advil and it just like it didn't help. So um I like I did get a little scared because they did say that you could pick up a spirit and like that spirit could follow you home like it could catch you. So I was like dude like could it be that like and then I'm listening to this video and like the person that person that I heard in the video like did it follow me home like I was really scared. You know, so I, I did kind of, like, think, okay, what if I, like, pray or something, just to kind of see if, like, it'll, be, you know, it'll make me feel better. And I did feel good, like, praying, you know, but I still had that pounding headache. I, every day I wanted to throw up. Like, it was just, like, I could be at school, I was at home, I could go out, like, to the store or something, and I just didn't feel good. And, it, I mean, it really did feel like when you get, like, the flu. But it was just, like without like the rest of the symptoms which is like the you know that kind of like headache that you get and then just like the wanting to throw up feeling so <clears throat> I think it was one of the very last times that I like showed another friend it was like around I, I was ever gonna be like that next Sunday so it was exactly gonna be like seven days which to me is a little funny because I think of like the the scary movie or like the ring where it's like oh you're gonna die in the next seven days and i was like oh my god like, i'm scared i was feeling scared and so i showed it to one last person and then i just like every time that i would hear that like the the audio um i would feel like my symptoms get stronger and so and it's a little scary because i, I like i can feel like even like if a person's standing like behind me and like but I don't hear their steps like they're not breathing heavy or anything like I can like feel that they're something like someone you know and that whole time that I had that video I constantly felt it yeah I could have been at school or I could have been at home like in the shower you know anytime and I felt like there was just something like with me like like a presence was with me and so I was really scared so I ended up thinking like okay I'm gonna delete this video and after I delete it like I uh, you know I'm gonna pray and just hope that like I feel better believe it or not you guys okay so I delete the video and I delete like all the because I sent it to a few of my friends and I like deleted the messages with them because I was like I don't want any contact with this anymore um and you know I was just like I prayed after and like I said believe it or not I felt better the next day so the next Monday morning I woke up feeling perfectly fine and to me that was like super scary but also like um you know some people say like oh that's a cool experience or something I don't think it was cool <laughs> I think it was more like scary and I'm kind of like I'm, I'm like cool off of that kind of stuff you know like just that's not my kind of thing and I, I like from experiencing that like I don't know how other people like because they said that the ghost hunters i think the ghost hunters 
Ghost Hunters, Ghost Adventures. One of those, like, those TV show people had gone and that they, like, filmed, um, like, they stayed there overnight and they filmed and they caught, like, a, I guess, like, a shadow where they said that a person had died. And so, you know, like, some people would think, well, dude, like, you caught something, like, could you, like, like, I don't know, like, you would just think you'd feel like, oh, that's pretty cool, but, um, to me it was really scary, and it's something that, like, if I tell people, like, they really don't believe me, they're, they're like, dude, you're kidding, or, like, that's, like, BS, and I'm, like, no, like, it was scary for me, so, and, uh, like, a, another little part about, like, that, like, of Virginia City is, like, um, that one time I went with my mom and my dad to Virginia City, like a few years back and um like my dad was fine the whole time and then like we just wanted to like look at the grave the, the grave the cemetery because like you know like people go there and just look at all the the tombstones like all the like it's like very old-fashioned you know we were just looking like we weren't being disrespectful we weren't like doing anything bad or vandalizing and we're like walking into the cemetery we're not even fully in like you know like there's this whole part where you're gonna see all the graves and everything and then it was just like this part right here where there's like a few tombstones and like my dad's like oh no you guys like i i, I don't i'm not feeling good and we're like oh like what's wrong and he was like oh i'm like i got really cold like he started feeling cold and we were like it's summer you know like we're sweating because, like, we were sweating the whole time, but, like, we, like, touch him, like, and he feels cold. And it's weird, because, like, you know, we feel our bodies warm, like, because we're walking in the sun, and he started sweating. And then, like, he was, like, shaking, like, you know, like, we thought at first, like, if he's just, like, messing with us or something, but no, like, he, we just went, like, okay, like, come on, like, just try to, like, come in a little more, like, don't. Maybe you're just, like, playing with us. Like, you show us that you're not, like, just kidding, you know? And he couldn't. He just, like, he started feeling really bad. Like, he started, like, his body was shaking and, like, he was sweating, but his body was really cold. And he's, like, pretty dark. So, it looked like his skin, like, like his face was, like, kind of, like, going, kind of, like, his, his color was, like, flushing. Like, it was just, like, he was, like, not he didn't look like himself so that's when we knew like okay let's just go home and so that was like um another little scary part but i have to say like that experience from hearing that voice really got me scared and i've seen people take tours record things and like i i know some people that have gone and they like hang out there into the actual cemetery like at three in the morning scary hour and you know people go there and drink and like some people are just like not respectful i don't know how they can do that to me that's scary and because i think virginia city has like this kind of um they have a certain time where like they don't want people around in the night and so they close down everything pretty early so just i don't think i could like roam around there at that time but that was my story um i hope you guys understood me i know i talk kind of fast so sorry about that but um i hope that you guys enjoyed hearing my little experience and make sure to give us a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys later